Oh, oh god. Okay. Oh. Well, that's a good first step. You can see how many of these blaze spawners and gas spawners I can get rid of before everything goes to all holy hell. And with any luck, I will be able to make this into a recoverable situation. Whew. Okay. I think that's pretty much all the blaze spawners. I think I got a majority of the gas spawners. Now there's just the gas and blazes themselves to get rid of. Which is going to be a lot harder than just getting rid of them, unfortunately. Oh! Where did that? Oh, come on! Okay, I don't know whether these all spawned, or there's more gas spawners that I've missed, but things are getting very bad very quickly. Now, should I decide to exit? My way out is easily enough right there. However, I haven't given up on this yet. Oh. Determination is... One thing that I have plenty of, and all I have to say is, oh jeez. Whew, okay. There's actually so many gas and stuff out here that a lot of the game sounds don't currently exist. Yeah, that's, that's not your sound screwing up or anything, that's just the sheer number of mobs in existence currently. Oh, and the sheer number of noises they are making. Oh, should not be using my axe to put out fire. Oh, hi there. How are you doing? Where did you come from? Seriously, where did he come from? Okay, if I wasn't dealing with like 95 blazes, blazes? Gas at once, I could probably do something about this, but... I don't see me getting these diamonds. I got the uh, diamonds I needed for the monument, and I think that's all I'm gonna get, to be honest with you. Fuck it off. Oh, oh geez. Okay, this looks like my little room that I started in. Oh, geez. Hi there. Oh. I'm wondering just how far into this construction I can go before there is nothing more to be taken from it. Basically until I hit lava. Because I do know there's lava in this, but I'm... It might be just under the uh, the monument and that's it. It's designed for to prevent you from digging straight up into it. But well it didn't really uh, serve its purpose if that's the case then, huh? 
Oh. Apparently I missed a skeleton spawner somewhere. And I guess a blaze spawner too. Okay. I think it's time to go. Down, down, da, down, down. Oh, jeez. Checking for pressure plates. Don't see a pressure plate. However, I currently don't see a way out of here either. So let's make one, shall we? It's obvious that all these skeletons had fallen off of the uh, the monument area because they were almost dead. Each one of them took one shot to kill. And to me, that stands for obviously fell down. You're still mad at me, are you? Okay, well, oh, hi there. Well, if I didn't have Return to Sender on this, I'd definitely have Return to Sender now. Okay, we have two wools, and I have one piece of glowstone, fence, gas tier, a bunch of random things that I do not necessarily need. Trap door, glass bottle. Down to about one stack of arrows. And there's about 13 minutes left on the one hour session that I was wanting to do. So I might actually try and make the trek back to place these wools. Maybe I'll continue forwards. Now, I'm going to go back because I want to get uh, arrows. I'm going to bring a lot more arrows with me, just so that way I don't need to stop between the next three, or between, you know, this set and the next set. Ooh. The real question is, am I going to be able to get out? Oh, jeez. Go in around. I was gonna go through that other building, but things have been kind of relentless. I am going to need to find coal or make charcoal or something because I need torches. Because while it won't really do anything to the blaze spawners or the gas spawners, it will allow me to provide myself with the ability to shut down the additional things like the skeletons of that last one and whatnot. Even though most of the skeletons down below were all from, uh, all specifically from the skeletons falling off the upper platform. And I considered jumping off myself just so I wouldn't have to deal with everything. Stop that. But it didn't quite work out like that. Ooh. Appears pretty much all these guests are still here. Although I kind of want to make another attempt at those diamonds. I want the diamonds. And I see one of my entrance paths. Oh, maybe, oh, yeah, it was. Wait, what? What am I talking about? This is the one that I've already ravaged of its diamonds. Nancy. Yeah, see? Don't listen to me, I apparently have no idea what I'm talking about. I am going to need to get more blocks. I need torches, I need blocks, 
and I need to know where I'm going. And I probably, uh, after this adventure, I've come to realize one major thing. I'm probably going to want to do something about the uh, nether bricks because they are still really, really black. And if I hadn't been paying attention, I could have walked right off that cliff. But they are really, really black and it's hard to see a whole lot with those, so I'm probably going to need to do something about that. I, I do like them being black, but the only problem is, is, for some reason, when it comes to black in this game, it is, like, impossible to see anything. Also, running the wrong way. Shut up, Ghast. I really need to make a more defined pass passageway, set of passageways, bridges, something through here. Or even just fortify down this whole front area here because this is just a little ridiculous. Experience! Speaking of experience, I'm now up to 15 and I'm probably going to throw 10, maybe, I know I can get a 12 out of that thing so I'll see if I can get a 12. What? I swear I will learn my way around this place. And I'm gonna need to if I want to ever be able to make an escape from here, jeez. Oh, hi there. How are you doing? Come over here where I can see you. See, I got all these little pathways and stuff, and I don't know what takes me where, for one. But I'm trying to find the way out, and apparently I can't even do that. Oh, I pretty much just made a circle, because that's the little apartment thing. Which means that... Well, that doesn't really mean anything. I still have no idea where exactly I am going. So much fire. Wait a second here. Didn't I just see one of those over here somewhere? Great. Now I've lost my mind. I'm losing my marbles. The nether. It's not just an insane place. It makes you go insane. Oh, actually. I wasn't really sane to begin with, so I guess I'm not in really any major danger or difference from normal. <laughs> can't sprint no more. I can't sprint anymore, stupid food. Ah, just want to kill you. One day use your own gas ball against you. Whoops. But you just would not shoot at me. Hey, you guys still mad? No? Cool. Because I didn't mean to kill you. You just kind of happened in my way. I've managed to go the entire way around this without actually finding the exit. But here's nether brick, which means it's probably something newer in terms of me bridging, theoretically. Well, it's a good thing I decided to, you know, head back when I had 13 minutes because it's been, uh, like, uh, eight minutes, and I still haven't found the way out of this godforsaken hell. Okay. Oh, another portal. Yes. I have found my way out. We 
we've got two more wolves this time. We've got three wolves left to go. And while I'm also going to need blocks, like I said, I'm probably going to just make a nether portal down below the uh, farm. Not farm, the skeleton grinder mob trap farm thing. And, uh, yeah. So we're still gonna have to do this whole little exit part here, but it'll at least give us a moderately safe entry into it to begin with. I don't even really, it's not even the entry I'm worried about, it's the fact that I'll only do half as much travel time. I'll only need to travel out of here, I won't need to travel to here. And that will be time consuming. Whoops. I'm gonna use this. Hey, creeper. Use this so I can get back even faster. I'm gonna take the uh, the road where the minecart is. And sprinty, sprinty, sprinty. I might actually run out of food too with the rate right things are going. Of course, I don't remember what I have for food stored back at the other place, and then I could probably always go to places like Fake Burger and whatnot and pick up a ton of food. Even though I don't know if there's a ton of food there, because I remember the chests exploding on my face. Stupid creepers. But, uh... I suppose, since... Well, for one, I might as well limit going over, and also, this is just standard run back. Whoa. What is going on with my game today? But, uh, I'll see you guys back at the, uh, monument. Alright, we're back, guys. We're almost back to the monument. Didn't take quite as long to run here as I thought. Uh, two minutes did pass on my clock still, though, so I guess it's still a significant amount of time, but... It's not quite as long as I was expecting, but we're going to place these two wools. Black, which I can't really tell apart from the uh, nether brick. And blue. Okay, blue is here. And black is here. Now, we found black in the school, but... I'm thinking maybe they weren't quite, uh, should I say, put in a perfect line like the other ones were, maybe? But it's really hard to tell. Um, hmm. Okay, yeah. I got this one in the first little town, I think. And then I got this one out of the uh, the Nether Hospital, I believe so. And then this one was out of the uh, the house thing across from the school. But then this one was in the gymnasium. Something seems very wrong here. But. Uh, Anyhow, let's check these things for food real quick. Just in case, put the zombie meat in there. Found some spiders on the way back that I proceeded to murder because they were there. Zombie flesh that I do not particularly want to live off of. Yeah, that appears to be it. Uh, pretty much all my food is what I have on me, but... Uh, we are going to enchant this with, I know this can do 12, there we go, 12, nice, nice, protection 2. Now we're going to use the last four levels on the helmet and get blast protection which will help versus the ghasts and aqua affinity which won't help with anything. My boots are getting low and my pants are about broken. Um, they're not enchanted, so... 
I know it was going to stop there at the monument, but I want to go back over here. Well, okay, you know what? We know that I have arrows over there, and if you look at the beginning of the first one of this segment, you'll see that there's some almost broken pants over there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop here. I'm going to do that off camera. I'm going to get all the stuff ready. Um, I don't have a whole lot to do, but then uh, I'm going to hold out on doing the next session until these ones are uploaded as usual so that way I don't get too far ahead of the comments um, but uh, hopefully I, I might have to do an extended recording session because if there's only three left I might as well try and get all three of them before I stop but that's also part of the reason why I'm gonna be taking a ton of arrows I'm talking a lot of arrows like an incomprehensible amount. I'm going to throw this, and this, and this, and this, and this over here, away from us. Consolidate these. Yes, I'm aware. I'm still recording. I haven't quite signed off yet. Just chill out. Chill out. Stone axe. Okay. Yeah, I might as well throw this because there. I'm going to uh, stop here now, though, and I will see you guys in the next episode and stuff. But uh, yep, signing off.